Hello, LinkedIn. Thank you all for joining me in another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're going to continue discussing Rosemount's 5300 series of guided wave radar level transmitters. Now, I know I say this a lot, but if you missed the last video, be sure to go ahead and check that out. Today's video is going to build off of that knowledge. In that video, we looked at using dynamic vapor compensation probes in high pressure saturated steam applications. Today, we're going to look at probe end projection and its use in boiling hydrocarbon applications, very long or tall solids applications. In either case, we have a low dielectric constant product, and we have ignitions present which generate either intermittent or continuous loss of level measurement. So we take a look at the boiling hydrocarbons example. I'll play the graphic for you. You can see we have a microwave pulse generated and travels down the probe, but at the surface, it receives little to no surface echo but it consistently receives a probe end echo. This is important because this is exactly what probe end projection takes advantage of, very similar to how a dynamic vapor compensation probe works. The difference is that now we are looking at the end of the probe and we are comparing the end of the probe to the displaced probe end echo. So if we have an empty vessel, we have our guided wave radar in there, it will see the probe end exactly at the probe end echo. They will align. But as products fill in this vessel, this probe end echo is going to be displaced. And the amount is displaced is proportional to the dielectric constant and how much product is in there. So we can take advantage of this to then back calculate where the level is. So if I play this graphic here, we have probe end projection activated. You can see again, we have the microwave pulse generated, little to no surface echo. But now the transmitter is going to compare where the physical probe end is to that displaced probe end echo and then use this with the dielectric constant to back calculate that surface measurement. And this is how we're able to achieve reliable level measurement despite these harsh conditions. If you have any questions about Rosemount's 5300 series of guided wave radars or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.